What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to determine if a binomial is a factor of a polynomial function, right? So there's basically two ways to do this. You could either use uh, just a basically substitution method, just a plug and chug method, or you could use synthetic division. So I'm gonna show you both ways in case you're asked to solve in either way, right? So let's start with the substitution method. All right, so first of all, this is our polynomial function right here, 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 37x minus 60. And we want to know if this binomial right here, x minus 4, is a factor of this thing over here, all right? So you can basically break it down into three steps. The first thing we need to do is solve for x. So we're going to solve for x for our binomial. And the way you do that is just set this thing equal to 0, right? So x minus 4 is equal to to zero, so here x is clearly equal to positive four, right? That was step one. Step two is just gonna be plugging in your solution, your x value, into the polynomial. So here we're gonna say that instead of f of x, well, we know what x is equal to, right? Four, so we're gonna say f of four is equal to two, and then plugging in a four for x right there, we're gonna get uh, four cubed plus five times four squared minus 37 times four minus 60. Okay, now this is equal to, uh, well, first of all, four cubed, that's equal to 64, and 64 times two is 128, all right? Here, four squared is equal to 16, and 16 times five is equal to 80. That sounds right, uh, so plus 80. And then here, 37 times 4 is equal to uh, 148. So that's minus 148 and then minus 60 right there, right? So then here we get 128 plus 80, which is 208. And uh, looks like negative 148 minus 60 is also equal to 208. So minus 208. So then this is just equal to 0, right? So then the third step is just checking to see if when we plugged in our x value into the polynomial function, if our answer is equal to zero, all right? That's the third step. Now, if it is equal to zero, then that means that this binomial right here, the x minus four, is a factor of this polynomial function, okay? If you plug in your x value and you get anything other than zero, then that would mean your binomial is not a factor of the function, okay? But here we obviously did get zero, so x minus four definitely is a factor of this polynomial. All right, so that's the first way that we can solve these. Now let me show you how we can solve these using synthetic division. All right, so first of all, if you need a review for synthetic division, I'll link that in the card above, but otherwise I'm just gonna show you how to solve it here. So again, it's the exact same problem. We still wanna check if this binomial x minus four is a factor of this guy, right? So the first step with synthetic division is first just drawing your big upside down looking long division symbol, all right? And then the first thing we're gonna do is list our coefficients from our polynomial, all right? So the coefficients here are two, five, uh, negative 37, and negative 60, all right? So then we have two, five, negative 37, and negative 60, all right? That's what goes in the first row. And then the other thing that we have to find is our k value that we put out here, which comes from your binomial. So again, to find that, all you need to do again is set this equal to zero. So x minus four is equal to zero. So again, x is equal to four, right? So that means k is equal to four. k is the exact same solution as your x. So we're gonna put a four out here. Okay, so those are the two steps to setting up your problem, right? Just finding your coefficients and your k value out here. Now we're going to find the coefficients of our answer. So the first thing we're going to do is just bring this first coefficient, just bring it straight down and write it down here, right? And to find the next number right here, you just multiply your coefficient times your k value. So that's going to be equal to 8, all right? Now the numbers that we're going to list down here, we always add to the numbers up here, right? So just add straight down. So 5 plus 8 is equal to 13, all right? Uh, to find the next one, 4 times 13, that's equal to 52. So negative 37 plus 52 is equal to 15, all right? Uh, the next one here is 4 times 15, which is 60, and negative 60 plus 60 is equal 
to zero, right? So this number right here is your remainder. This one is your constant. This one would be your x to the first term, and this would be your x squared term, the coefficient for your x squared term, right? Now, the main thing we want to look at is our remainder, all right? If your remainder is ever equal to zero, so there's no remainder, right? That means that this original binomial, the x minus four, is a factor to the polynomial function, right? If you get anything other than zero here, then that would mean it is not a factor. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.